Daniel chapter 6. <clears throat> it pleased Darius, this is the new government, to set over the kingdom 120 princes. So not only do you have the king, but you have 120 princes, which should be over the whole kingdom. And over these, the 120 princes, three presidents. So in the realm of Darius, you got 120 princes in the realm. And over these princes, you got three presidents, of whom Daniel was the first. That the princes may give an account unto them, the president. The king should have no damage. Now, if you want to say America is not a Bible foundation, what do you call that? Our president of the United States does not have the supreme authority. He needs an act of Congress. And what Darius has done is over his realm, he's put 120 princes. Over them, he's put three presidents. And to be cabinet, House of Representatives, the Senate. So by time it comes to Darius, it's got to go through 123 people before the king's in trouble. That's what that's about. And we see a word in the Bible here now, verse 2, we see presidents. Plural. We see verse 3, above the presidents, plural. Verse 4, then the presidents, plural. Then verse 6, then these presidents, plural. And then verse 7, all the presidents. Those are the five only places in the King James Bible that you see presidents. It's over a realm of Babylon that has been taken over, the Medes and the Persians. Called media. <laughs> Isn't that a quinky dinky? That's it. That's the president. Now, in the Bible, in the King James Bible, the word king shows up 2,540 times. Kings, plural, shows up 334 times in the King James Bible. We don't have the president of the presidents, the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the king of kings, the Lord of lords. We do not have a biblical foundation of government under a king and senators and representatives. Rome had a senate. And what we're going to see with these presidents, there's one good president of three. His name is Daniel. He's a man of God. The other two presidents are going to try to have the man of God executed because they don't like him. That's the story of the presidents of the Bible. And as quickly as we move into Daniel chapter 6, we'll move out of Daniel chapter 6. We'll come to Daniel and the lions, and everybody knows about Daniel and the lions then. Well, who put Daniel and the lions then? The presidents of the Bible. You don't hear that quoted, do you? Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes. So, Again, 120 princes in charge of all the realm. Over them, three presidents, Daniel and two other men. And then Daniel is preferred above the presidents, too. And 120. Because an excellent spirit is in him. Now go back to chapter 5 real quick. 
verse 12. Now, this is the queen's testimony of Daniel through the Holy Spirit. Daniel 5, 12, for as much there's an actual spirit of knowledge, understanding, interpreting dreams, showing the hard sentences, dissolving the doubts. That's the same spirit, the Holy Spirit, that's in Daniel. Excellent spirit. Now, Belshazzar didn't call it either, said spirit was in him. The Holy Spirit was in Daniel, and the scholars would say in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit never went. It came upon people. He, he was in them. And the king thought to set him over the home realm. So, the king's mode would be alright, here's my realm. There's 120 princes. There would be two presidents. And then there will be Daniel. And then there would be me, Dyrus. Now you know the spirit of envy, the spirit of jealousy would, would sink in. Then the presidents, two of them, <coughs> <coughs> and the princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. So Daniel's got opposition. Daniel's that know-it-all. Daniel's that goody-tooty. They like Daniel more than like me. But they couldn't find no occasion nor fault. For as, much, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. John. The Gospel of John 18. Now what you're going to find in Daniel chapter 6 is you're going to find the Old Testament. You're going to find now Daniel is going to be moving from the Holy Spirit to a type of Holy Spirit to a type of Jesus Christ in the gospel. But the Holy Spirit is God and God is the Holy Spirit and Jesus is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is Jesus and Jesus is God and God is Jesus. The three are in one and the one are three. 1838. And Pilate said to him, What is true? And when he had said this, he went out unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. 1. 19.4 Pilate therefore went forth and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. Number two. Verse six. And the chief priests, therefore the officers sent him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said unto him, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. Number three. And there were three presidents. And three times Jesus Christ was found without fault. We read about so far up to date now, we read about Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar, Belsizer, and Dyrus. One, two, three. We find that Daniel's given the third ruler of the nation. Joseph is given the second ruler. One, two, three. And in verse chapter six, verse four, we find in Daniel what we find in Jesus. For thirty three and a half years, Jesus Christ was faithful, Jesus Christ without sin. Nobody could get 
you trying to tell me the silent years of Jesus and, and growing up as a boy, none of the other boys tried to get him in trouble? He sat 13 years old. He was assembled with the scholars and the priests and in Jerusalem, and they, what on earth is this boy? He knows more than we do. He don't think that didn't set the stages on fire already? Even Satan, after the 40 days and 40 nights of fast, and Satan comes, oh, I'm going to break him. And the question is, we are in the land of seeing church age. We're so great. We're so wonderful. Me too. I'm in. The, listen, I'm in the land of seeing church age. <clears throat> if we went up to our boss, would our boss and our co-workers find anything against us? Listen, that guy ain't faithful. How about if the cops came and arrested you, read you your rights, and they brought you before a judge, could the prosecuting attorney find enough evidence to prove your Christianity? Jesus stood before the judge, before Pilate. Pilate said, I, I, he's innocent. I'm not going to crucify him. Now they came up and dug the dirt on us. What would they find? Yeah, I know. Our sins are under the blood, but those movies, those books, that music, the, 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 our characteristics may be under the blood, but it's not Forgotten in the worldly standards. Yeah, you may have said, Lord, you know, I called out sick the other day. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I know. But you caused a great deal of conflict at your job and for your co workers and the customers. Maybe under the blood, but what about the consequences? And the fact is, we're looking at a man like Daniel, and, you know, dare to be a Daniel. That song is so ludicrous in the light of the same church. No one is like Daniel. And, oh, you know, if you went to the lion's den, you wouldn't go into the lion's den because they would find something against you. And, okay, we got him. Glad to see in church. There is something against us. Us. That they would say, okay, we got him. He's sunk. They want to bring a charge before the king like they brought a charge before Pilate. And Pilate says, I don't. Now, this is not King Dyer. This is his co worker. These are the people that, that are. are Daniel's authority and the people under the authority of Daniel is that we can't catch him. He's honest. He's faithful. He's reliable. He's got a proper character, whether he's at work or he's, or he's having a time of, of, of worship or whatever he's doing, he's He's Daniel here, he's Daniel there, and he's Daniel over there, and he's Daniel here, and he's Daniel, 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 Daniel. We can't get an anti-Daniel. This day and age we're in today, we can get the Christian. You spoke against the president. And when you speak, oh, he's not my president. Okay, but you know, they could bring up the King James Bible. They could bring up any Bible and say, hey, you're supposed to honor the king. You're supposed to pray for that. Not my king. No, God, you're guilty. You didn't honor the king where the Bible says we're going to throw you in jail. Oh, I got freedom. I got rights. Oh. And what if, what if President Biden had somebody sent by God to speak to him about his soul? What would he conflict 
with Christians way they act towards him, and a Christian honestly witnessing the gospel to him and thinking back and saying, well, I know how Christians treat me. There are a bunch of Christians here in Daytona Beach. I, I, I see their truck all the time. F Biden. I'm not going to say the F word. The F bomb. Oh, that's a great testimony before Jesus Christ. You would be found guilty. Listen, Daniel is a man that has been taken from his city, taken from his family. His family's been killed. He's been made a eunuch. He's never going to have a family. He's not going back to his homeland again. His homeland has been destroyed. His temple has been destroyed. His people have been killed. They are captive. And forever the government is against him. And yet, what did it say? Then the presidents and the princes sought to find occasion, to find anything against Daniel, concerning the kingdom. Does he break the law? Does his does he go four miles under the camel's speed limit? If he got too much change at the store, does he keep it? Does he speak ill of the of Darius? Does he complain when he gets his tax bill? But they could not find none occasion nor fault. And look at that word fault. I'm not going to look at it. But you know when Bibles change? I'm not saying they do, but I'm saying when they change words to update and make it easier, you know they ruin the cross references for other places? Uh, I'm going to, let me look this one up. Daniel 6, 4. Let's see. Daniel, this one we'll look at. 6, 4. ASB. I need to put something in there. Bible Gateway. Let me move my picture out of here. I'm just All right, read. No, not the whole chat. All English translations. Okay, let's. Let's see. I, I don't know. I could probably be wrong. All right. So, fault, fault, error. That don't work. No negligence or corruption. Guilty. Uh, he is faithful and honest. Let me read me out of here for more. All right, let's see what. Let's see with the ESV. Did not find any fault. Okay. Good news version. Occasion. Get me out of the way. All right. Well, good news translation. Excuse Daniel. All right. No error or fault. No, 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 I can't say the word. Corruption. Uh, they couldn't find anything wrong. No corruption, no vice, nor fall. Right, that's got fall. That's got fall. Fall. Living Bible. Anything to criticize. The message Bible. Oh, never mind. That's all messed up. Uh, NASB. No, no corruption. Again, I didn't know. I, I, this is the first time I'm looking this up. Looking up with you, if you can see in the video. Uh, no corrupt. NIV. NIV UK. What is that? The New King James. All right, it has fall. The New Living Translation. He couldn't do anything wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So come back over here. So what's the problem? We find here no fault. Verse 4, chapter 6. See it? No fault. Well, what did what did Pilate say? I find no fault in him. If your modern Bible <coughs> has corrected the word, you can't run that to Pilate in Jesus Christ. 
But we wanted to make it so simple. And you blew the cross-reference out the door. Then said these men, then said these men, we shall not find any occasion, anything. You know, anything. That's Jesus. Come on, Daniel, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And Daniel spent too much time. No, he didn't. Daniel forges. No, he didn't. Except we find it against him, Daniel, concerning the law of his God. All right, so they knew the Jews had a law. Now, are they saying that Daniel's a lawbreaker in the eyes of God? No, he's not. What they're going to see, what we're going to see in our, in our next study in the next few couple days is we're going to see that they're going to look into the Jewish law and say, what's wrong? Well, you know, the, the king tried to make us not drink wine and tried to, make, we tried to eat pork and all that. I know there was no Daniel 1. But you remember when Nebuchadnezzar, he tried to change us all over? Yeah. And you know, he we, we had to eat pork and all, yeah, and, and all that Babylonian food. But Daniel stopped that. So Daniel's not going to have shrimp or lobster or a pork sandwich. Daniel's not going to look at another woman because the Lord forbade him. So we got to look to the law of his God. That's something he has to do. And we're going to make it so he can't do it. And that's precisely what the Catholic Church has done through history. You have the word of God, where to read the word of God, where to study the word of God. And the Catholic Church says, no, we don't want you to have the word of God. Fox's Book of Martyrs will kill you, will we'll hang you, will burn you at the faggot, will throw you in the river, will burn those books, will destroy your prayer, will take everything, get rid of that word of God. Don't you pray for the Catholic Church. They're an enemy. These presidents are going to go after the other president to get what he's supposed to do for God. And we'll make a law that he can't do it. In China, you cannot have the word of God. You can't meet publicly. You cannot assemble in the name of Jesus Christ. Many countries. You can't even have a Bible in Muslim nations. Our military cannot bring Bibles over the Middle East. I know I've talked to them. When the desert storm and all that first started, I knew members of Christians who were going over there, and there was a big stink, even on, I think, of President Bush, I forget, but I could be wrong. They took their Bibles, and they confiscated their Bibles. And there was a report they burned them, but that's, we don't know if that was true. They could bring their underwear, but they could not bring the Bible. You know what Satan in the world will try to do? We'll find what he does faithful and what God tells him to do. We're going to try to stop. What's going on today? Forsake not the assembly of yourselves in Hebrews, which I think that verse has been messed with so people get you into their church so they can count numbers. Okay? I believe that. But many churches are closed. Many churches have shut their doors permanently in the name of COVID-19. Their church is not ever going to open themselves back up again. There are people who are afraid to go to church of COVID-19, but they ain't afraid to go to Walmart. So Satan is found an occasion for the people. Church service, okay. I believe you believe it. You ought to be in a good, rightful church. And if you don't have a good, rightful King James Bible-believing church, you get in a church with like saints, you know, to pray for each other and help each other. 
So here they go. Here comes your president. They're going to enact a bill. I'm just a bill sitting here on Capitol Hill. Remember that television special, you know, that or conjunction, conjunction, what's your function? You know, they, that little thing, how a bill became a law? These presidents, the only place you find presidents in the Bible, these presidents are going to come up with a bill to say you can't pray. So what we're going to call our new, new leaders, our new nation, what we're going to call them, we're going to call them presidents. For two of them who went against one of them, and they said, you can't pray. You know what they're saying in the school system? You know what they're saying in, in Congress and all that? You can't pray. Bingo! Be not deceived. God's not mocked. What's over man's soul that he shall also read. You want to be called president? All right, they told Dan you can't pray. So what's the government say in schools? You can't pray. How's that? Should have went with the king. Oh, we don't know. Okay, whatever. Then these three presidents. I'm excuse me. Then these presidents, two of them, against one. Daniel is a minority, and he don't get his rights. Did you get that? These people that run around minority, minority rights, equal rights, equal. I'll tell you what the minority is. America is a Bible believing Christian that witnesses and does what the Bible tells them to do in honor of Jesus Christ alone. That's the minority. Oh, you got black February. You don't have Jesus Christ January, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't give Jesus on December 25th to Christmas because they had their Kawanja, a Kawanja celebration in December. They got their own December holiday. Well, we were slaves in America. Uh, you had God's people slaves in Egypt. In Exodus. And you made them serve with rigor. That's why they're against the Bible. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king. And said unto him, King Dyrus, Live forever. All the presidents. There's two of them. You notice I didn't say there's three of them. Because you know Daniel's not there. What's wrong with King Dyrus? <laughs> he has such a regard for Daniel. But where's Daniel? You ever notice Daniel in the book of Daniel, he disappears? You know, for the nation of Israel today, the Messiah has disappeared. They're still looking for him. He's come and gone. But he's coming back. That's another type of Jesus, Daniel. Daniel's gone. But he's not going. The presidents of the kingdom, the governors, the princes, and the counselors, and the captains. Where have you seen that group of us before? Strike up the band. Fall down and worship. You see, well, Daniel wasn't there with Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo, but <laughs> Daniel's getting his night now. When all the people of titles and respect and honor and dignity and, and occupation was for Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo for that golden image to worship, you were so worried about Daniel back then. Well, 6 verse 7, Daniel now has his time. Governors, the princes, the counselors, the captains, the presidents. Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo didn't have presidents to deal with. Have consulted together to establish a royal statute, a law. They're going to make it a law. And to make a firm decree 
that whosoever, here comes the law, shall ask a petition or prayer of any God or man for 30 days, save thee, O king, he shall be cast into a den of lions. And we'll just read the next verse. Now, O king, establish a decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which alters now. So what happened with the law of the Medes and Persians, you can't use a cell phone when driving. Boom, sign into the law. Well, you know, the police, no, 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 no. That law was signed with no loopholes, no exception. Anybody that, that talks on a cell phone behind the wheel, you're a pen. But we need a loophole. We need a, a amendment to the Constitution. No. When the Medes and the Persians made a law, that law was established, and you cannot change it. Now, look how ridiculous this law is. Because it established a royal statute, a kingly, and make a firm decree, it, it's serious, it is bounding. That whosoever shall ask a petition of any God, look at the capital G. They weren't going after Baal. They weren't going after Asterisk. They weren't going after Esther. They weren't going after the, the pre-born Mary. <laughs> they wasn't going after Tammuz. They were going after God Jehovah. Look at verse 5. The law of his God, capital G. The main aim of this law was against Jehovah and Daniel. But, you know, any man, whosoever shall ask a petition of any God or man. Now these guys are hypocrites. Now I'm not sure what kind of atmosphere living in the Medes and Persians was back then. But I would assume for the next 30 days they would say, can I have some sugar in my coffee? You just broke the law. Isn't that not a petition? Would that not be the guy goes home and, and, go, and walks up to his wife and says, honey, can we, <laughs> can we have some relations tonight? You just asked a petition of God or man. I like a window seat for our trip to where we're going. Okay, may I have your permission to... Their decree is, for 30 days, you don't ask nothing. But that's not, that's, that's not what it's about. It's about a prayer to Jehovah. And what would be the man in their eyes? In their feelings, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abel. Because they know Daniel would call those three together and say, hey, we need a prayer meeting. But King, you can pray. He shall be cast in the den of lions. Capital punishment for prayer. Now, Daniel is missing. I would have thought that would raise suspicion. Because when we go back up here, verse 3, then this Daniel is preferred above the president and princes. Because there's an excellent spirit in him. Evidently, Daniel, through the Holy Spirit, Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo, had been seeking counsel for the king. But who's going to think about the man of God? All right, let's run back to Daniel chapter 1 again. I mean, let's look at the story. I got a dream. Magicians, soothsayers, astrologers. What's my dream? You don't know? Oh, I know this man, Daniel. He's done. Oh, great job. All right. Good going. I got this dream. Magicians, soothsayers, astrologers. You don't know. All right, I'll call him Daniel. See what I'm saying? Daniel was far, because Daniel wasn't one of the boys. But he was honest. 
but what government is on it? He was a faithful worker. He's come up to be, he, he was going to be the head of all the, all the area. Now O King established the decree and signed the right and not be changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which also not. Wherefore King Dyer signed the writing and the decree. No questions asked. And you can't say, well, where's, where's Daniel? Even Nebuchadnezzar didn't think of Daniel right away. How about you, Christian? Is everything your life always God first? Or do you run to the world? Nebuchadnezzar ran to the world before he ran to the man of God. The world has run to the king and he has no even thought for the man of God. And God's up in heaven. I'll let it play out. Oh, God could have, yeah, he could have stopped it, but did he? I mean, he could have broke every pen and every pencil of diaries, but he didn't. 